In this video, I'm overclocking the Intel Core i9 14900K processor all the way up to 6.2 gigahertz in five minutes or less using the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master X motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy the settings from this video and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to advanced mode and stay in the tweaker menu. Set gigabyte perf drive to unleash. This will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and lets the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Enter the advanced CPU settings submenu. Set voltage reduction initiated TVB to disabled. This prevents the CPU from automatically reducing the voltage based on its current temperature, as this may induce instability when manually tuning the voltage frequency curve. Set AVX settings to user defined. Now we can adjust the AVX2 negative ratio offset, which lowers the P-core ratio when using AVX2 workloads. The offset is a reference against the per P-core ratio limit, which we will configure later in this guide. Set AVX offset to 1. Set AVX optimum to enabled. Set active turbo ratios to manual. This enables us to configure a dynamic P-core overclock as we can configure the maximum allowed P-core ratio for a given number of active P-cores. Set turbo ratio 1 p-core active to 6 p-core active to 62. Set turbo ratio 7 p-core active and 8 p-core active to 57. Set turbo per core limit control to manual. Now we can limit the maximum ratio for each p-core individually, regardless of the active turbo ratio configuration. Set turbo p-core 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 ratio limit to 62. Set Turbo P-Core 1 and 7 ratio limits to 61. Leave the Advanced CPU Settings submenu. Set High Bandwidth to Enabled. Set Low Latency to Enabled. I don't know precisely what these two settings do, and Gigabyte won't tell me. Still, they have a positive impact on performance in memory-sensitive workloads. Set Extreme Memory Profile XMP to XMP1. This enables the use of the Intel Extreme Memory Profile 3.0 technology and will make the DDR5 memory run at its rated speed of DDR5-7200. Set a vCore voltage mode to adapt the vCore. This allows us to control the voltages associated with each CPU core's voltage frequency curve. Set VF offset mode to selection. That gives access to Intel's advanced voltage offset feature, commonly known as the VF points. This feature extends the adaptive voltage mode by allowing end users to undervolt or overvolt specific points of the CPU's factory fused voltage frequency curve. Set VF points 6, 7, and 8 offset to plus 25 millivolt. Set VF point 9 offset to plus 75 millivolt. Enter the advanced voltage settings submenu. Enter the CPU VRM settings submenu. Here we can make changes to the voltage regulator configuration. We adjust the VRM load line to minimize the V-droop, which is the voltage drop when the CPU goes from idle to full load. We choose the VRM load line with the small V-droop, so the effective voltage does not deviate that much from our manually configured CPU voltage frequency curve. Set CPU V-core load line calibration to high. Enter the internal VR control submenu. Set IA VR config enabled to enabled. Set IA AC load line to 1. This ensures the voltage requested by the CPU to the VRM controller does not differ from our user configured voltage frequency curve. Set IA DC load line to 50. This matches the choice of the V core load line calibration setting we set earlier. Then save and exit the BIOS. We reran some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 22.71% in the AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 6.2 GHz. 
When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU P-Core effective clock is 5,645 MHz, and the average CPU E-Core effective clock is 4,219 MHz with 1.229 volts. The average CPU temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperatures are 26.2 and 30.7 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power and CPU input power are 359.4 and 390.8 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.